If you have already watched my first video in this high yield USMLE Step 2CK series, then you have already tested your knowledge on the most commonly tested topics for the USMLE Step 2CK and for your shelf exams. But now we're going to take another look at a commonly tested question type, which is asking what is the next best step or what is the next best step in management? So let's begin. What is the next best step in management for a patient that has this ECG finding? Defibrillation and chest compressions. What is the next best step in management for a patient with a hemorrhagic stroke and high blood pressure? You can give labetalol or nicardipine. What is the next best step in management for a patient diagnosed with myasthenia gravis? A CT of the chest to rule out a thymoma. What is the next best step in management for a woman with amenorrhea? Beta HCG. What is the next best step in management for a woman with DCIS and a positive sentinel lymph node biopsy? Axillary lymph node dissection. What is the next best step in management for a 51-year-old woman with a palpable breast mass? A mammogram. What is the next best step in management for a 26-year-old woman with a palpable breast mass? Ultrasound. What is the next best step in management for a 26 year old woman with breast pain? Her last menstrual period was two days ago, and her physical examination reveals multiple breast masses. Reassurance. And if you're liking this video so far, please be sure to pop the like button, hit subscribe, and that notification bell so that you never ever miss another video like this. Also, if you want to support my channel, all you have to do is click the join button and that way you'll be able to dictate what videos I release next and you'll also have priority in the comment section in terms of getting answers to your questions or any concerns. So let's continue with the questions. What is the next best step in management for a patient that has postmenopausal bleeding? Endometrial biopsy. What is the next best step in management for a patient that has vaginal bleeding and shortness of breath two months after? Suction and curettage. A chest x-ray because you have to suspect choriocarcinoma in this patient. What is the next best step in management for a 65-year-old patient that has a new onset exertional dyspnea and hematocrit of 27%.
colonoscopy to rule out colon cancer. What is the next best step in management in a patient with a warm, erythematous, swollen knee? Orthocentesis. A patient being treated for hypertension with Ramipril has developed a cough. What is the next best step in management? Switch to ARBs. Blood cultures in a patient with infective endocarditis reveals strep bovis. What is the next best step in management? Colonoscopy A 53-year-old female presents with proximal shoulder pain, jaw pain, eye pain, and unilateral headache. What is the next best step in management? Steroids. What is the next best step in management for hypokalemia refractory to potassium repletion? Replete magnesium. A patient with multiple rib fractures has hypercapnia and a respiratory rate of 7. What is the next best step in management? Pain control. What is the next best step in management in a patient with bilateral plant masses who suddenly develops a severe headache? A non contra CT of the head. So in this patient, you have to suspect that they may have a polycystic kidney disease. And these patients are more susceptible to having subarachnoid hemorrhages. A patient with a lung tumor has sodium of 115 and then starts seizing. What is the next best step in management? Hypertonic saline. A patient with asthma develops hypercapnia. What is the next best step in management? Intubation. A patient with a thyroid nodule is found to have a low TSH. What is the next best step in management? A radioactive iodine scan. A patient with a thyroid nodule is found to have a high TSH. What is the next best step in management? An ultrasound and biopsy. What is the next best step in management in a smoker with joint pain and clubbing?
a chest x-ray to rule out lung cancer. What is the next best step in management in an elderly patient with multiple seborrheic keratoses? An abdominal CT scan. What is the next best step in management in a patient with heparin-induced thrombocytopenia? Direct thrombin inhibitors. A patient with rheumatoid arthritis will start methotrexate therapy soon. What is the next best step in management? Pulmonary function tests. What is the next best step in management in a patient who is found to have genital warts? Screen for other STIs. What is the next best step in management in a patient with episodic palpitations, headache, and hypertension? Metanephrine levels. What is the next best step in management in a 55-year-old male who had transient unilateral vision loss for 5 minutes? A carotid ultrasound. What is the next best step in management in a chronic smoker with bilateral lower limb pain? Ankle brachial index. A 33-year-old female presents with morning headache and blurry vision. Her BMI is 40. What is the next best step in management? A lumbar puncture. A 30 year old male presents with unilateral headache and rhinorrhea. What is the next best step in management? One hundred percent oxygen. A psychiatric patient develops a fever and oral ulcers. What is the next best step in management? stop the medication. So in this case, if you have a psychiatric patient that develops oral ulcers, then suspect that they may be taking clozapine that can cause a granulocytosis and present as oral ulcers. A 44-year-old female presents with fatigue, low energy, loss of interest, and a heart rate of 48. What is the next best step in management?
TSH levels. A patient taking methotrexate develops profound bone marrow suppression. What is the next best step in management? Give Leucovorin. To continue your prep for the USMLE Step 2 CK or your shelf exams, then click this video right here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so that you never miss another video.